And welcome to Go Market Update Charts of the Day for today. It's the 18th of August. Happy Friday to you all. I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. And of course, we are at the midpoint of the Asian sessions. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in news today. Of course, overnight we saw US equities sell off again on continued gloomy investor outlook. Following events of this week, with the Fed being slightly more hawkish in their minutes than was expected, and also the Fitch downgrade of US banks. Key technical levels may now be under threat on the major indices. The Dow moved its way through the 50 day moving average, which could be an important level. US futures, however, are just above neutral in the Asian session. Asian markets are mixed following that weaker US lead. ASX did start to the downside, but managed to make its way above neutrals, currently sitting. Around about 0.15% of the upside materials are performing today after really a dreadful week for that sector. European futures are pointing to a cautious open, look pretty neutral at this stage. And the VIX was up again yesterday, technically looks bullish for the first time for a long time. We did see some weakness in the USD. We saw the USD index bounce off the June highs and saw some selling in Asia this morning. As a result, we've seen an uptick in commodities after again what's been a Really rough week for that asset class. Gold hit June lows yesterday. We are seeing some recovery in Asia so far. Not quite back up to 1900 yet, but that's possibly on the cards if we get some buying momentum in gold. Copper bounced yesterday and hit highs for the week. Uh, looks again as though it may have some buying coming into it in Asian session. And all moved higher for the second day on the row and is back above 80 on the WTI CFD contract. Bitcoin was one of the major stories of yesterday, moved below that 29,000 support and got absolutely battered on Asian Open today. It is around about the 26,000 level right now, but it did go down as far as 25, so a significant sell in cryptos. Be worthwhile having another look at that later today to see if this selling pressure continues or whether it was just a short-term market fluctuation. But it was pretty big and pretty pretty significant even though it was relatively short-lived in the first instance. We have got final earnings numbers due this week. That was in some of the retail sector report in the US. On the data front, it's pretty quiet, although we have had Japanese inflation data hotter than expected this morning. This afternoon, we are going to be subjected to the same from the Eurozone. That inflation data could be quite important. And we've got UK retail sales as well. Nothing significant coming out of the US tonight. What are the charts that caught our eye today? Uh, we're going to start in the ASX and we're looking at Macmillan Shakespeare Limited. And you can see there we've been stuck under this resistance level at 1966 now for a couple of weeks. We've had several attempts to breach it intraday, uh, but never actually managed to close above it. However, today it looks as though we could be doing that. Uh, it is worth checking in with this towards the back end of the session and certainly want to keep an eye on next week to see if we can breach this short term range to the upside. Quite a choppy day on FX markets, but there is some yen strength coming in a little, as well as USD weakness. If you, We have got USD weakness today, as I've already intimated, uh, and you can see there against the yen, which is one of the stronger currencies today, you can see this down move uh, to test this level at around about 145.33. This was the lows of the session two days ago. We've already breached the lows of the session from yesterday to bring us down to this level. We're through the S1 pivot at around about 145.43. And so look as though we could be on for a move down to 145 in the first instance. Should we breach this, the next level is quite significant uh, of around about a 55 pip move. If we just take it back to perhaps the hourly chart, you can see this would move us down to a low seen four days ago at the beginning of the week. So it'll be interesting to see how much yen strength there is throughout the course of the day. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.